YouTube's content ID. Is it a protector of copyright owners or an enemy to fair use? While it is commonly believed that social media platforms offer a democratised approach to media sharing, creators are still bound by the allowances of the few platforms that grant access to the largest audiences. YouTube, for example, is the main platform that video creators depend on to distribute their content. With the aim of protecting the copyrighted property of their users, YouTube created a system called Content ID. Videos uploaded to YouTube are scanned against the database of audio and visual content that's been submitted to YouTube by copyright owners. When Content ID finds a match, it applies a Content ID claim to the matching video. When a video is Content ID claimed, one of the following actions is implemented. The video is blocked from being viewed, the video is monetized on behalf of the copyright owners, or the video's viewership statistics are tracked. While this may sound like a fair, just approach, some creators argue that the system completely disregards fair use. But what is fair use? Fair use is a doctrine within US law that allows any copying of copyrighted material done for a limited and transformative purpose, such as to comment upon, criticize, or parody a copyrighted work. Such uses can be done without permission from the copyright owner. Alex Myers, who creates commentary videos about movies and TV shows and has over 3 million subscribers on YouTube, has shared his experiences battling copyright claims and legal issues despite his videos falling under fair use. In his video titled Movies and TV Shows I Can't Talk About, he talks about how he won't review any content owned by Viacom, as they have used YouTube's system to claim his videos featuring their content in the past resulting in one of his videos being blocked from viewing in the United States. This is despite his video complying with fair use. This is just one example of YouTube's content ID system unfairly dictating what creators can and cannot post with the justification of protecting copyright owners.